Hey everybody, who wants to see me try on some green blush and lip gloss today? That's the topic of today's video. A couple new products from Lipstick Queen. They had previously put out the Frog Prince lipstick, which is like a green lipstick, and it's supposed to kind of customize or adapt to your specific pH and turn out to be like the most flattering shade of pink on your lips. And so they've kind of come out with the same concept with a cream blush that's supposed to do the same thing on your skin and a green lip gloss. This truly looks just like a shimmery emerald green gloss. And I have been playing around with these some, but I really wanted to try them on for you in this video so you could see how it goes. So I'm going to start with this blush and it is a creamy blush. It looks straight up green but as you can see, and I've been using it some, um, as you sort of swirl your finger in it, you can already see it turning to a little bit of a pinkish color. And it changes so instantly, like you can see as I swatch here, you know, instantly pink. There's no like waiting for it to turn pink. It just immediately looks like this kind of deep, um, kind of a deep rosy shade, I guess is what I describe that as. And there's no shimmer in it. But I kind of started to think, is this really just pink and they've got some kind of like a green backdrop to this, you know what I'm saying? That's just making it look green in the pan, but immediately turn out pink. But I actually did take a little chunk of it out. And if you do like get a little bit of that under your fingernail, you're looking at it. It does look like this kind of solid green product. So this truly is green, but the color change really happens fast. And then I had been swatching some of these before and that's sort of the stain that's left behind so once you blend it in this really does have some decent staying power. But I'm going to apply this with my finger on one side and I'm going to use a brush on the other side just to show you whether or not that makes any difference. So I'm just going to start dabbing this here on the outer part of my cheek. So, I mean, it's kind of maybe a little bit anticlimactic because it's just so immediately pink. I really just feel like I'm applying any pink blush to my cheeks. You're not waiting for some kind of major color change surprise to go down, you know? But I do find this to be a really like flattering color. I didn't feel like I had to use a lot to get to that color. It was very pigmented, like as you could see, that's a lot that comes off there. And it doesn't feel super sticky on my cheek. It really kind of feels to me like it's melted back in with the texture of my makeup. Now I'm going to try applying this with my e.l.f. small stipple brush on the other side just to see if that makes any difference. And it does totally pick up pink on the brush as well, so it's not like this is requiring skin contact in order to turn pink. So I'm going to apply that to my cheeks here. Here. Well, I feel like I've basically gotten the same look, um, same level of intensity. I thought it was really easy to apply with my fingers, though. So if you got this and you didn't already have a small stipple brush, like it's not a really sticky feeling blush. There's no difficulty blending it into the skin. So either way, it seems to work fine and seems to give off the same kind of color, which I don't know, it seemed like a little bit deeper pink on my finger. And on my cheeks, it seems like an even lighter and brighter pink. And like I said, I've worn this before. Staying power has been good. It's not something where I feel like, oh, I've got to slap a powder right on top of that to make it last or to make the color stand out more or just, you know, to set it and undo some kind of weird texture. So I like that it feels like my skin and it does do sort of a staining effect. Now we're going to try this gloss, which as you can see, it looks very full on green here. There is some sparkle to it. There was no sparkle, no shimmer in the blush. You take it out, you've got a very classic doe foot applicator, and then, you know, it clearly looks green there on the wand. And if I were to just take a little bit of this off with my finger, on contact, as you can see, it's not immediately turning pink. And then you swatch it out, it really does kind of look green, but now you can see it's turning color, especially in the areas where it was most sheared out. Now in the areas where the green is still kind of thick there, like I can see that it has started to change color a little bit. I've noticed this on my lips as well. You put on a thick layer of this gloss and it looks like just a little ashy, you know? It looks a little grayish if you've got a real heavy coat of the green. And I really think the reasoning for that is because of the shimmer in this product, because that kind of transparent or greenish gel aspect to this gloss is able to, you know, easily be sheared out and turn to pink. But the sparkle or the shimmer in this gloss isn't really changing color. So if you've got that applied in a more concentrated way on your lips, you're just going to see more of it. You can see as it's been sitting here on my hand there, that part remains looking kind of green. So let's go ahead and apply it to the lips and I'll show you what we get here. 
Again, a little bit more uh, of an interesting experience when you apply this because it does look green right away. And then you're waiting for a little bit of color change to happen. So this, they said, would change to my perfect shade of pink. I feel like I've gotten a really even layer of it on there and it is very shiny. Um, it's not too sticky in texture. It feels a little bit on the thick side though as far as glosses go. And isn't it interesting how the cheek color seemed to go to a really kind of fresh light pink and then this shade on my lips, it's kind of like a deep mauve, don't you think? It's like more of a berry type color. I think this is definitely the kind of thing you want a mirror for for your application because in the past when I've worn this, if I've gotten more in one spot, I'm like kind of waiting for the green to turn. And if there's too much goopiness in any one area, it's going to continue to look green. So you've kind of got to make that effort to get it nice and even so you get kind of one solid color on the lips. As with the blush, once you kind of rub a lot of the shine away, you you do have this pinkish stain left behind. And is it sort of a gimmicky idea here? Yeah, I kind of think it is. I mean, they're going to charge you $24 for the blush, $25 for the gloss. Um, for me personally, I think the gloss really isn't worth it to me just because when I look at the finished shade, um, I've got a lot in my collection that gives me this type of a look. So I'm not going to see this as a total must-have personally, but if you're really intrigued by the fact that, you know, this could look a little different on different people, or you're going to get a kick out of like going out in public with your green lip gloss and then putting it on and letting people see the color change, like if that really, really appeals to you, um, that's kind of the cool thing about the gloss is it truly does initially go on a little bit greenish and then it changes. The blush truly does look pinky immediately so you don't have that real color change thrill but I adore this shade on my cheeks it's just really fresh um we've got a cat joining us right now <laughs> cupcakes here she's very concerned about the new flower in the background she hasn't totally approved that yet but I think this color just looks so fresh and alive on my cheeks I see myself using this a lot and I love the fact that it has good staying power and I don't need to set it oh yeah I forgot to tell you Nice little magnetic closure on that blush. You know I love that. <laughs> so if you've tried these products or anything else from this Frog Prince Lipstick Queen line, please let me know. It's kind of fun to try something new and different like this. But in reality, just keep in mind, the ultimate result is something very normal and very like typical of products that I do have in my stash. You know, a pink cheek, a berry lip. We've all seen that on me before. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.